Our extensive understanding of the cosmos did not appear suddenly. The horrifying new experience Voyager 1 had with an unidentified force may open our eyes to a completely new perspective on space. Without the Voyager probes, our knowledge of space and some of our greatest achievements would be lacking. However, after years of circling around in space, one of the probes appears to be having problems. Come along with us as we explore the mysteries of outer space. An account of the two explorers. Two of the most significant space probes ever launched are cruising through space. Here's a peek at their intriguing tale. Thanks to the twin voyages 1 and 2, a great deal of what we know about space and its many secrets has been revealed during the past 45 years. For the last 45 years, they have been collecting new data. When these missions were launched into orbit, there was no internet, no phones, and no contemporary technology. How absurd is that? Since Voyager 1's launch by NASA in 1977, the spacecraft has spent decades exploring space and providing us with a number of rare opportunities to view the solar system. Interesting fact, the mission's duration exceeded expectations set by the scientists. Things were very different in space, even after years of investigation on Earth. As spacecraft were able to drive themselves at the speed of other planets and fulfill the necessary milestones much faster, things might happen considerably faster. This made it possible for the choice to change the 30-year plan to an arbitrary 30-year journey. Voyager 1 was able to take the lead even though the two spacecraft, having somewhat different paths, left ground control two weeks apart. In a mere 12 years, less than half of the estimated time was reached by Voyager 1. That's correct, 12 years is seen short in space travel. Additionally, Voyager 1 was the first spacecraft to reach the solar system's edge. There was a greater probability of something going wrong, and it was a far riskier route. For Voyager 1, becoming lost in outer space was a very real possibility. These two probes have contributed greatly to our understanding of space travel. Scientists and NASA engineers are still in astonishment over data and photos taken by the twin voyagers. The two showed us the renowned red spot on this massive planet and took the very first pictures of Jupiter. These missions have yielded other startling discoveries concerning many stars and planets, such as the presence of water on Europa, the identification of the largest natural satellite in the solar system, and the discovery of active volcanoes on Io. We were able to uncover things that we never knew existed or were even feasible, as well as get additional knowledge about locations throughout our solar system. Well, isn't it intriguing? Voyager 1 touched down on Saturn, its original intended destination, almost 13 years after taking out. With greater information about the planet's wind speeds and its short 10-hour days, scientists were able to comprehend it better. 10 hours seems like so little in a day, 24 seems like so much. We gained a great deal of knowledge on the nitrogenous habitats on Titan, the moon of the far-off planet. It also found 10 other moons on this distant planet. The two spacecraft parted ways to continue their own missions after obtaining data at Saturn. While Voyager 2 continued on its course toward the final two planets in our solar system, Voyager 1 made a detour and traveled for the heliosphere. These two voyages raised several new questions as well as being able to contribute to the answers to many others about the vastness of space. For example, Voyager 2 collected hitherto unseen data on Neptune, a planet traditionally thought to be inferior by scientists. How a planet so far from the Sun, getting so little solar energy, could sustain such varied weather patterns and climates astounded and perplexed them. By 2004, both probes were extremely, extremely far from home and had arrived at what might be termed the far limits of our solar system. They had arrived at the Termination Shock, a location in our solar system. Here, the winds dropped from millions of miles per hour to a meager 250 miles per hour, a pace that was nothing in comparison to the blinding intergalactic speeds. 
nothing in space, and the solar system is little, even though Voyager 1 had reached its limit. It still needed to pass through the heliosphere in order to enter interstellar space. Interstellar space and the heliopause? Let us now explain what the heliosphere is, in case you were wondering. It is, in essence, a shield that protects our solar system and planet from the intense radiation and energy of interstellar space. Nothing has been able to travel as far into space as Voyager 1, which has covered an incredible 12 billion miles since it was launched 45 years ago, despite the fact that technology has advanced light years since then. Uh, now, the fact that this was accomplished with relatively little technology is even more amazing. Neither of the probes had a microprocessor on board. Those were non-existent even 10 years ago. The fact that there is very little, if any, software really contributed to the prolonged survival of the situation. Scientists and engineers surmise that the necessity of hardwiring everything was the reason for its extended functionality. The probes could operate for such a long time because the onboard processors were, at best, extremely low power devices. An eight-track tape recorder held all of the data that the instruments aboard the probe collected and recorded. It was returned to Earth using a device that consumed the same amount of energy as a refrigerator light bulb. Well, isn't that just crazy? The amount we accomplished with such archaic technology is astounding. Is it feasible for us to accomplish all of that without sophisticated technologies and a touchscreen? A horrifying first meeting. However, there is an issue. Voyager 1 appears to be having issues after 45 years in operation. Has communication with aliens finally been established? Is space travel far riskier than we thought it would be? Or is there a far easier solution? How is our dependable space shuttle Voyager 1, located approximately 14.5 billion miles from Earth, faring after decades in space? It's amazing that Voyager 1 is still functional. Nonetheless, a spaceship eventually experiences damage from spending 45 years by itself in the vastness of space, and this is starting to happen. Even while Voyager 1 appears to be fully operational, scientists have discovered that they are unsure of its precise location. We don't know where it is, even though it didn't enter safe mode or raise any red flags. Scientists and specialists at NASA are perplexed, but not really shocked. This kind of breakdown in a probe this old is hardly a major story. What transpired with Voyager 1 and what encountered it during its voyage into uncharted interstellar space remained to be seen. Is there a malevolent power at work, or is the spacecraft just becoming old? Scientists believe that the probe may have experienced an electronic aphasia, which results in a lack of communicative fluency and makes it difficult to interpret the data it returns. NASA thinks that the information Voyager 1 is sending could be created at random and unrelated to the Attitude Articulation and Control Systems AACS, current status. Instead of routine reporting on health and conditions, the AACS, which was in charge of maintaining the high-gain antenna's direction toward Earth, started transmitting garbled data. Since the mission is scheduled to conclude in 2030, NASA has been extending its energy reserves by turning down non-essential components during the previous three years in order to keep everything operating. But there may be some obstacles in the road. Interestingly, they are still as strong as ever, in spite of the false signals. It is comforting to know that Voyager's antenna is still facing Earth because the radio signal is steady. This demonstrates that the probe is still correctly positioned even though the location data is erroneous. The fault protection device that was intended to keep the spaceship safe in the event of a malfunction was not activated by the current problem. The AACS had been sending telemetry data via an onboard computer that had malfunctioned years earlier, as NASA experts found when they investigated the issue and fixed it. To stop such abnormalities in the future, the next step is to find and fix 
the real offender. The random signals are confusing, even though the situation isn't too alarming right now. Scientists from NASA are working diligently to interpret the latest coded messages that the decades-old spacecraft has sent. The space agency was equipped to handle the wide and demanding conditions of space when it was first sent out. Voyager has operated more smoothly since it has been inside the Sun's magnetic field. The probe has been shielded by this field against high-energy particles floating in space and solar radiation. The memory in the computer sustains very little damage even if a high-energy particle strikes its chip, yet this damage might build up over time. Thankfully, NASA scientists anticipated these scenarios and designed the probe's internal systems and computers to resist them. The termination of a period. Everything worthwhile has to end. Even with the mission's success, difficult choices must be taken to allow for future growth. The voyagers appear to have crossed the finish line. We could be coming to an end after 45 long years in deep space. The most recent bug and malfunction in Voyager 1's onboard computers and AACS will force it to retire. The American Space Agency has started shutting down its systems and bidding the probe good night. It's amazing that humanity were able to send probes into space that lasted for such a long time, even before the development of current technologies. After two identical probes gave humans the closest views yet of the two largest planets in our solar system, the mission has come to an end. The probes will be decommissioned by 2030. NASA is extremely satisfied with both Voyager's performance, noting that they have operated 10 times beyond their guarantee. There are four operational components left in the first Voyager probe and five in the second. They are being powered by decaying plutonium, which will eventually run out. The battery output decreases by 4 watts annually, forcing NASA to make some difficult decisions. NASA scientists have been gradually turning down components of the probe. In 2019, for example, they turned off the heater for the crucial cosmic ray detector. The magnetometer and the plasma science instrument will probably be the last to be removed when NASA dismantles the spacecraft piece by piece. The surplus heat produced by the onboard processors keeps these enclosed within the spacecraft's body. The others will take the longest to cool. They are hanging on a 13-meter fiberglass boom. A further justification for ending the mission is the distance the voyagers have traveled from Earth. At the moment, sending a radio transmission to Earth takes 22 hours for Voyager 1 and 18 hours for Voyager 2. That period grows by 3 to 4 light seconds every day, making communication more difficult as the probes get farther apart. The whispers from the spaceship are harder to hear because of Earth's noise and the scattered signals. The faint information received appears to be unreliable due to a recent glitch in its systems. History and Prospects However, one cannot discount the value of the two voyages. The voyages offered unique and priceless insights into the vast and mostly uncharted regions of outer space. It will take another three centuries before humans can go all the way to the edge of our solar system. However, astronomers may be able to reach interstellar space in the near future. In order to allow modern spacecraft to run, voyages 1 and 2 walked. The voyages have, in a sense, become historical artifacts. It is difficult to comprehend their achievement in the present day, given that their memory systems have three million times less store space than the majority of modern cell phones. Even though they work at a speed that is almost 40,000 times slower than a 5G internet connection, they are nonetheless effective. The golden record that both voyages are carrying is a message from Earth to space that has been translated into 55 different languages and includes images of well-known individuals and locations on Earth, as well as music. It seems that humans will always be fixated on communication 
with extraterrestrials. Voyager mission member Jamie Rankin, an astronomer, spoke on the mission's future. He was happy with the mission's enormous unintentional success, which called for multi-generational teams. This kind of antiquated technology was not supposed to last so long in space, but it did. Don't undervalue the job the Voyager missions have been doing behind the scenes, even though they have become less well-known in recent years. The two probes, in spite of their archaic memory and transmission technologies, are essential tools for expanding our knowledge of space and stand on the cusp of space exploration.